What's up guys, John here from Titan, and today I'm gonna show you guys some of my cooking skills, meal prepping at its best, with my favorite meal there is, and that's steak. Steak is definitely one of the best meals, to me anyway. Um, and, you know, for what you're trying to do for your body and everything that it needs, steak is, has got a lot of great things that are packed into it that can help you day in and day out. One, it's a really good protein source. Two, it's got one of the best amino acid profiles out there. And what does that mean? So that means that it has an abundance of different amino acids in it that will help your body perform better, it'll help it work better, and ultimately get you better results all the way around, day in and day out. Plus, you always need a good protein source. You need protein to keep your muscles strong, to grow muscle, right? Um, you need it for an abundance of other things too. So. We're gonna cook filet mignons today. That's my favorite cut of steak. You might have your favorite cut, but mine's filet. And the reason is, is because it's the leanest cut of steak there is. I don't want a whole bunch of fat on my steak, okay? I know there's some good fats and bad fats, but you don't want a whole bunch of bad fats in your intaking. And if you see a whole bunch of white markings or a whole bunch of marble per se, you're gonna get a lot of fat in it. I know that's supposed to create a lot of flavor, right? And people like flavor with their steaks. But I promise you, if you cook your filet mignons right, you're gonna get a lot of flavor out of them. I don't even use steak sauce at all. And they're still juicy and tender, even after I warm them up in the microwave, after I've cooked them at the next day. So, let's get into this. Let's talk about how we're gonna cook these steaks. All right, so for cooking steaks, I like to keep it real simple. And um, when you put on seasoning and stuff like that, it's ultimately gonna affect you. So if you dump a whole bunch of salt on it, it's not going to be good. It might taste a little bit more flavorful, but at that point, you get a lot of sodium along with it. Um, you know, try to pick some other things, but me, I like to keep it real simple, like I said. So I'm going to do like black powder, black pepper powder, excuse me, um, garlic powder, do it organic if you want to, or you can cut, um, you can cut garlic up. I know some people have tried to fry it in the past or throw it in the bus thing. Why are you going the, the, the short, uh, quick route and doing this and why don't you just cut it up? Well, because I'm saving a little bit of time. I'm trying to help you guys save time too as well. So that's why I'm telling you that. Um, after that, I will add a little bit of light salt. I'm talking about just a pinch. When you see how much salt I go on there, you go, did you really even add salt, John? Or what's going on here? So these are the three main things I'm gonna throw on my steak. Nothing else. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't add some other flavors to your steak or whatever you like. But just don't go crazy. You don't want a whole bunch of seasonings all over your steak. It just is what it is. All right, so let's get down to it. Now, steaks. <laughs> Depending on where you go for steaks, the market price might be a lot higher or lower, okay? And there's different kinds of steaks you can really go with. So, let's bust out these steaks. Let's see what we got here. So I get my steaks um, from a local restaurant here, um, a local steakhouse. I've just known it for a long time. And this is kind of what they look like when it comes to me. They're all premium wrapped one, one at a time. Um, I take these out just like this. Right? And you might see a little bit of marble in here like this, but this is not that much. So when you cut in here, it's not gonna be real rubbery or anything like that. Let's get to the next one. And I usually cook about 10 steaks every two to three days. Um, every day I'm eating at least two to Four of these steaks every day, so two 12 ounce steaks every meal. So it should last me, I would say, what two days, three days. So we've got all these laid out, right? So after have these all laid out, I, I wash my hands beforehand. I'm touching these steaks with my hands. I got this blood on my hands. You're going to want to wash your hands one more time. So it really doesn't matter what you want to put on first. Me, I'll just put on pepper and a little salt and I'll go. Now, I'm going to flip with one hand and we're back to business. So we have salt, we have garlic, and we have pepper. Now I'm gonna wash my hands one more time before I put these back in and touch the tray. All right, so we're gonna put it in the oven. Now, whether it's electric or gas, doesn't really matter. Um, before I was cooking with a lot of electric because I had that in my old house, now I have gas. 
which is a really nice thing. Um, so I usually put it at 450 to 475, depending on your stove. And what I'm gonna put it at is I'm gonna put it for 30 minutes. 30 minutes is gonna be able to cook these steaks thoroughly. So we're gonna put it in the oven. We're gonna put it in here, 475 on my oven. It could be 450 on yours. That's why I used to cook with an electric. And then we're gonna put them in here. We're gonna put them in here for, like I said, 30. You can cook them for 35 minutes if you really want to. Put them in. Beautiful. Close that bad boy. We're gonna put the timer on. Always wanna put the timer on. So we'll be back here in 35 minutes to check on how these steaks came out. There's my timer. You know what time it is now. Time to eat. Let's see what we got. Let's see how these bad boys came out. And I can guarantee you they came out perfect. But I've done this so many times. I've got down to a science. Look at those steaks, man. Look at that. Juicy, ready to go, tender. Cut them to them, they're gonna come off like nothing. Just perfect. Now, if you don't like pink, that's totally fine because you can cook these and heat them up even more. But remember, you're gonna have to heat these up in the microwave unless you're gonna eat all of them at one time. So if a person likes medium rare, I mean, look at this, I mean, it's right on spot money, dude. Yeah, so nice. Oh, just look nice pink. So if you like them well done and stuff like that, you might have to cook them a little bit more, but these are prepped so you can eat them now and then you can stick them in a container and then heat them up in the microwave and they're still not gonna be too dry in the middle all the way around. You don't wanna eat dry steaks. Like that. They just keep chomping, it doesn't taste good. You can get it down, but it's not gonna be good. That's gonna be good. See the consistency? Every single one of them look like this. You can put these in like meal prep containers and literally take them with you to work or wherever it is and you're set to go, man. You cannot make an excuse. There's not enough time in the day to cook yourself some food. If I can do it, you can do it too. So, just another tip and trick from Titan and me to you guys to help you guys reach your goals, feeling better, look better, perform better, the Titan Medical Center. This is just one of them. And I will cook more meals. Everybody's like, man, I see the steaks, but what else you got in there? So I'll help you guys cook chicken in the next video for you guys. All right, so stay tuned for the next Titan cookie video with me, John, CEO of Titan Medical Center. I'm gonna get to these steaks and start eating them up so I can get my protein in. Hope you are too. Later.